सो हाई एवरी वन बाई डांस आफ्टर ओमनी ह्यूमन वन हैज नाउ रिलीज अनदर पेपर एंड अ ग्रुप ऑफ फाउंडेशनल मॉडल्स कॉल्ड एज गोको फॉर वीडियो जनरेशन सो द मॉडल द आउटपुट ऑफ द मॉडल्स आर लुकिंग क्वाइट रियलिस्टिक एंड इट माइट बी हिटिंग आउट ओपन ए आई सोरा एंड गूगल वीओ टू बिग टाइम द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर फाउंडेशनल मॉडल ग्रुप इज दे आर नॉट यूजिंग डी आई टी दैट इज डिफ्यूजन ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स आर्किटेक्चर दिस टाइम दे आर यूजिंग फ्लो बेस्ड आर्किटेक्चर दैट इज रेक्टिफाइड फ्लो ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो दे हैव चेंज द आर्किटेक्चर दिस टाइम एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ द आउटपुट इज जस्ट आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड सो हियर यू कैन सी सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स द टीम हैज शेयर एज यू कैन सी हियर द क्वालिटी लुक्स जस्ट अमेजिंग एच डी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे हैव ऑल्सो शेयर द प्रॉम दैट हैज बीन यूज एज यू कैन सी ऑन होवरिंग many examples have been shared as you can see here the quality of the model looks just amazing and if you notice most of the prompts are quite small penguins roller skating the wide angle view of a dramatic cliff side this is a detailed one a llama coding and typing on his laptop this is just amazing more landscape demos as you can see here the team has released a number of models prompt from chinese poetry portrait video demos this is also very important so this can be used for creating instagram avatars and influencers so this is a very crucial importance and apart from that they have also released goku plus a video ads foundation models so these are creating marketing avatar from text as you can see here so we won't be talking much about goku plus for now but these are all the examples that you can see and this is a github repo as you can see here they have mentioned all the benchmarks we would be discussing this so if you would be looking into the benchmark that i will be sharing also the model uh, the model weights are not shared i think for now so it's just a paper that has been out but i think still the model looks amazingly good and we should be knowing about how, now jumping on to its technicalities so we will be now discussing one of my post so first of all let's start off with what is rectified flow transformer so i think diffusion transformer you might have an understanding by now that they uses diffusion process that they add noise step by step and then they try to denoise the image or the video to generate the video in case of rectified flow the difference is a little more so as you can see here for rectified flow the biggest advantage is that they are able to generate more realistic information and interactions rectified flow transform differ from dit by aiming for more smoother and natural motion so i will be telling you how this happens this is achieved through a unique architecture that is based on rectified flow so rectified flow is a concept in mathematics and machine learning that i will try to explain in easy terms here as you can see here so the advantage of rectified flow is that it provides improved theoretical properties conceptual clarity and faster convergence rectified flow enable refers to a set of transformations that are designed to for stable and efficiency allowing models to better learn and generate complex data distributions so i think rectified flow can be a game changer for video generation so i think if you read this particular example imagine you want to turn a simple shape like a square into a more complex shape like star you would be doing certain transformations right you would be folding the paper cutting the paper from some side each transformation brings you closer to the final shape rectified flow is very similar to that generating things like video we want to transform simple data like for example you have given the text that generate a video of a woman singing so this is the first state of the input and now after applying some transformations realistic data as you can see here using a rectified flow we would be generating the final video this is called as rectified flow a rectified flow is a set of instruction that tell the computer how to perform these transformations step by step to go from text to video i think now you have got the gist of how rectified flow works so in a typical diffusion model the generation process might involve gradually adding details to noise image over many steps which can sometimes result in jerky movement so i think i am assuming that you already know what is diffusion in contrast an rft would define a series of linear interpolations 
so rather than adding noise and then denoising it it's not doing that it will be doing a series of transformations this is the difference the model is trained to predict the velocity or the time derivative of the intermediate step which guides the transformation of these samples towards the real data this approach simplifies the modeling process and helps to produce smoother and more realistic motion so i think we won't be diving deep into how rft works but i think this would give you a gist how rectified flow transformers work now going to the key features of byte dance goku core architecture involved rectified flow transformer as already mentioned it also has a image video joint vae that is variational auto encoder i have already covered what is a variational auto encoder in one of my previous videos you can check that out talking about the transformer architecture there are certain technicalities that you if you wish to skip you can skip which uses a full attention mechanism rope positional embedding i think right now rope is a very popular topic and a very popular style of embedding patch and pack and qk normalization qk is basically the matrix of attention that you might be doing qkv training and optimization multi stage training i think very similar to omni human one that i have discussed a couple of days back that also involve multi stage training so first of all you are training with text to image then you are training with a combination of image to video then you are combining everything together so you are not training all the different variety of data set or together you are training the model with all the different variety of data set at different stages right so first you are training with text to image then text to video then image to video and then finally merging all of them together infrastructure and scalability sequence parallelism full sharded data parallelism activation checkpoints so these are the things that i'm trying to skip for now because these are highly technical and you might get confused but if you wish to read you can read it here and just pause for a moment on this particular point talking about the data that has been used it uses 160 million image text pairs and 36 million video text pairs this is huge and the sources included panda 70m intern video lion and proprietary data sets they have also used a data filtering layer we have filtered out certain data sets like retains visually rich and photorealistic clips ocr any video which has excessive text has been removed motion filtering ensures balanced motion dynamics captioning data balancing so these are the certain things that they have applied after taking the data set and talking about the performance benchmark i'll be sharing that in the next section talking about key advantages of the architecture that uh, goku uses it has a unified framework so you can generate videos you can generate images the input can be text or image using just one architecture so you don't require different architectures for different generations quite efficient scalable and the quality and the quality of the output is high now here is a benchmark that i have been discussing so these are some of the common models that they have used which included open sora gen3 from runway pika is coming here kling luma honion video is one of the best open source uh, video generation models and if you look into the scoring the overall score of goku is the highest till now so it is the best video generation model that has been released so far so these numbers are quite good and you can have a look on the table and understand how goku is outperforming most of the models because the overall rating of the model is the highest compared to all the other models how to use the model so the model is now not released as already mentioned so you can see some of the examples on github but i think soon it should be released and you would be able to enjoy by dance goku i hope this was useful for you and you try reading the paper for goku ai by by dance thank you